already Taurus so this is going to be your reading for July thank you so much for tuning in if you're new if you're not and you're returning thank you also for coming back keep in mind that this is a general reading so it may or may not resonate with you if it does cool and if it doesn't please don't try to make it fit and we can definitely book you a reading to see specifically what's going on with your situation also if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me all my information is going to be listed below in the description box with all of my links and information to contact me and book super easy i do respond super fast within 24 to 48 hours so definitely book with me also if you guys are interested in entering my giveaway where i'll be giving away four readings to four of my subscribers make sure that you subscribe Follow me on Instagram at Mystical Crystal, just like how it's spelled in my YouTube name, just without the tarot. So it would just be Mystical Crystal without the spaces. Um, and comment below what you would like your reading to be about, uh, your personal reading. You don't have to go in depth, just give me a brief overview of what you'd like to speak about. And I will be picking four people. And definitely keep in mind, um, if you don't do all of the steps then you're disqualified so just make sure that you follow all of the steps so that we can get you the free reading okay so my taurus your present position you guys are the vortex so you guys are in a situation that is toxic um that could be just very alluring you're very tempted to it um and every time you get kind of close to it it just sucks you into a whirlwind of trouble so you're very tempted towards a situation here um and your overall influence is the page of wands so some sort of messages could be coming in i hope you guys are not sexting or nothing um but for some you guys could be uh communicating with a lot of people regarding like a creative project or you guys could be wanting to start off a creative project or you guys could just be very well, you know, communicating some stuff to somebody, okay? Okay, so what I'm seeing for your far past, we have the Eight of Wands. So this also speaks of pregnancy for some. Uh, this also speaks of communication, travel. Um, travel, it could be to somebody who's long distance, who's like 25 minutes or more um, from you. This just talks about forward movement also so you could have been moving forward with something and definitely communicating with somebody hence the page of wands um what i'm seeing for your immediate past we have the page of cups so you guys were kind of Im immature with your emotions or you guys were trying to offer up your emotions to somebody and be kind of playful about it or you guys were just trying to Definitely connect with your inner child emotionally. And what I'm seeing for your crowning thoughts, we have the Six of Wands. So you're wanting some sort of success here with a fire sign. Or you're wanting some sort of attention. It doesn't have to be with a fire sign. It could just be you want some sort of attention or some sort of success. Um... Or this is how you're seeing somebody. And what I'm seeing for your immediate future, we have the Eight of Swords. So some sort of situation that's going to be leaving you trapped in your head or feeling kind of restricted mentally. Let me clarify. And oh yeah, we have the Judgment card at the bottom of the deck. So somebody, you're probably going to have to grant some sort of decision, whether that be to cut somebody off or to give them a second chance after some clarity here. It could be a karmic situation or if not, it could just be that you're really um, letting karma take its play in this situation. There's going to be some sort of transformation, though, that causes some sort of anxiety and you go into your shell because it could be a third party situation for some. Um, but what I'm seeing for your fears, we have the world card. So you're scared that a cycle is about to end for some. Let me clarify this eight of swords. Why is this eight of swords here for the immediate future for my Taurus. Why is the Eight of Swords? Yeah, you're having to make some sort of decision here regarding either two people or which direction you're going to go in. And it could be due to you being single from a fire sign who you have a lot of love from or a lot of love with. But somebody's kind of guarded. You're kind of guarded. Um, 
but also what people are seeing as your current um, position or how people are seeing you outwardly we have the chariot so pushing forward through any adversity really just taking control of your life and moving forward and excelling this talks about pushing forward like really excelling and what your hopes are we have the high priest so definitely that you're making a, a wise choice and that you're moving in a wise direction regarding your decision and what I'm seeing for the outcome, we have the Six of Pentacles. So some sort of waiting energy, like you planted seeds and you're waiting. So that's what I see for July. We're definitely going to go more in depth with the weeklies, but definitely um, check that out. And if this reading resonates with you, and if it doesn't yet, definitely come back and check this video out when we're actually in July and let me know. And I will definitely see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much. Bye.